At the Massachusetts state line on Market Street, Route 136 in Swansea, sits a massive stone outcropping called King's Rock. According to Otis Wright's 1917 History of Swansea, it was the place where Indians from all over New England came to celebrate their victories. Furthermore, in this rock can be seen the old hollow where the Indian women ground their corn for the feast and the actual print of their knees as they knelt there for years can still be seen in the rock. Across the road from King's Rock, a large boulder sits atop a bedrock outcropping on what was called Sachem's Knoll. While this rock is understood to be a glacial erratic and has not been authenticated as a ceremonial stone, it was clearly placed there by humans, as the rocks placed underneath it attest. The question remains, was this rock placed there by indigenous people to mark an important ceremonial location? Balanced or perched rocks like this have been placed throughout New England in order to mark celestial events and enable a connection through the bedrock to the underworld. The fact that Sachem's Knoll is on a high place with lower ground all around it in all directions adds to its potential indigenous significance. This placement even allows anyone standing on it to see the wind turbine blades of the Allens Avenue Water Treatment Facility on the western shore of the Providence River with the naked eye. It is likely that a fire burning on top of Sachem's Knoll could also be seen for miles in every direction. Margaret's Cave and a likely winter settlement of the Poconoka tribe, led by the Massasoit Usamequin, was also located to the east in sight of Sachem's Knoll. This was the location where Roger Williams was nursed back to health after he walked over 60 miles in a snowstorm from Salem in January of 1636 and went on to found Providence.